Hello, this reading is for all signs. This reading is timeless, which means it doesn't matter when I made it. It doesn't matter when I posted it. What matters is when it showed up on your feed page, when you felt drawn to it. That's when you were supposed to see it. Just an FYI, um, I just got done doing a video for Virgo. It was really long on the extended. It got good, but it was long. And I wanted to get out another video. I'm trying to do two videos a day, at least for YouTube, you know, my longer videos, at least. I'm um, trying to focus like on a sign and then I'll do like another video for all signs. That way the people that, you know, if it's two weeks before I get back to your sign, at least there's an all signs one um, that you can look at as well. So I'm trying to do two a day and I just got done doing the Virgo. So I'm, I'm tired. I noticed that, you know, my energy level is a little bit down and my voice is scratchy. So I do apologize, but I'm going to try to get this one out. Um, hoping there's a really good message that you need to hear. So hoping you hang with me and listen to this message because there's probably something that, you know, you need to hear. If it showed up on your For You page, obviously there's something you need to hear. So we're going to start off by asking Spirit what this message is about. Is it about money, love, career? Can you give us an idea? I hope you're doing well. I'm probably going to be posting this on Mother's Day. So if there's any mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. I'm a mom of a 25-year-old son. One child was enough for me. One thing that you'll hear me talk about that I think is cool is that my son's birthday is, it's weird because if I actually do like his birthday, it comes out to be a life path four. But when I type it in the numerology database, it says 22 or four. So apparently he's a master builder 22 and I, for some reason I named him Christian. So, and then I was listening to, was it Star Girl, the Practical Witches, one of her readings. And she said in her readings, you might have a child who's either 11 or 22, and this person will have some kind of a spiritually significant soul purpose. So my life path is seven, which <clears throat> if you look in the numerology database, it gives like, you know, five possible careers. One is spiritual leader slash teacher. Another one is psychic. And another one is... Um, what did it say? Philosopher or something, which kind of that's what I do. Like I sit back, I analyze things. I think about things all the time. That's what I, I tend to want to like come up with the answers of the universe. I'm not like super genius or anything, but like I do have that personality. And I didn't really know my life path number until I started going through the spiritual awakening. I hadn't really learned about life path numbers until more recently till after I started doing tarot. And then I found out it's supposed to be like, oh, you're second. And then on top of it, I'm a Taurus. Taurus is the Hierophant in, one of the cards that represents Taurus is the Hierophant, which is like the Pope. So like a spiritual teacher, it's kind of weird. Um, also an Empress, I'm an Empress. So I've learned a lot of things in this um, spiritual awakening. Spirits told me who I am and they're pretty fucking cool. My ego loves it. Why am I talking about this? I don't even know. Okay. Um, just sharing. Sharing who I am with you. What I'm learning about myself. What are you learning about yourself? Let me know in the comments. What have you learned? What has Spirit told you? If you've li listened to other people's readings, what have they said you are that, that kind of... You either feel in your gut that it's true or um, it goes with like things in your life. For instance, one person's reading said, oh, you have royal blood. You have, a, you have a royal bloodline, blood of the gods and blah, blah, blah. And then I'm actually O negative, which a lot of people believe RH negative people come from a royal bloodline. Anuki, blood of the gods. I don't know. They also think they're um, reptilians and I don't fucking know. I'm not a rep. I'm not a reptile. I don't. Earth angel, maybe. Twin flame. I'm a twin flame, so that's an earth angel. Yes, I go with that. Fallen angel? I don't know. Maybe I was a fall. Maybe my ancestors were a fallen angel and this is our chance to break that generational curse. You hear breaking generational curses. Maybe that's what twin flames are doing. I don't know. 
but not all twin flames are Rh negative, so I don't know if I don't know if there's a link. I'm just saying that these are the things that I've learned about myself. What have you learned about yourself? It's interesting shit. That's all I gotta say. All right, spirits, what is this reading about? I never really knew the significance of being Rh negative. I knew, you know, when I had my kid, I had to get a shot and everything. But until I started getting into spiritual stuff and I kept seeing stuff about RH negative. And the weirdest thing is once I realized that and I became fully aware, now I don't see a lot about that anymore. It was like spirit sending that to me as a, as a puzzle piece for letting me know who I am, telling me. So what is spirit sending to you? So we have three of pentacles, which is collaboration. So this is about you collaborating with somebody. I see a black cat here. Oh, a couple black cats, lots of black cats, three of them. So lots of shadow work. And there's a candle, even though it's daylight, there's a candle burning, that's weird. But it's like they're working on pentacles, like they're painting. So maybe this has something to do with you painting. Maybe you're somebody who likes to paint, but somehow they're collaborating together on this painting, it's weird. Usually when you're a painter, you're kind of solo. Yes, queen of wands, this is, this. Ha yes, oh yes. Yes, 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 woo! The world on the bottom, I'm going to take that because if you see here, it's like, nope, don't take this card. Ace of Cups, I'll take that again. Don't take this card. Oh my God, you guys, get excited. Here I was having low energy, but if you started, if you've been listening to this far through my ranting or my, what do you call it? Not ranting, but... Rump rumbling no that's not what i'm trying i'm tired my brain's not working um so yeah i mean with the three of pentacles i'm definitely feeling yeah there's some mountains in the background but they're green they're green they are green she's wearing a dress that's very green so money there's something here you're working on. You're collaborating with somebody that's creative. So maybe you're, you know, into social media. But again, there's something with painting too. Maybe it's actually literally painting or maybe it's just showing creative. And like I said, there's even a green candle. Green means what? Like abundance. Oh, there's two green candles. Even though this is the three of pentacles. There's two green candles during the day. I mean, they are inside, but three cats three black cats so these could be three different people who are all working on their shadow sides and or maybe this creative endeavor is something that you might consider a shadow side activity like like if you're a witch you know you might not be like a dark witch you might be like me like a white witch but yet it's still like a shadow side because maybe you kept that spiritual side of you is secret from the world. And so you see that as your shadow side. So this, she's a witch here. She's got a witch's hat on, but she's working on this. She's got three paintings. One is kind of dripping down. I don't know the significance of that, but the one in the middle is very like perfect. It's not dripping. The other ones are kind of, well, the one that's dripping is blue and blue signifies water. Water would drip. And then the other one that's fire is more, kind of these little dots, but the pentacle is golden. So it's like three people working on something creative, possibly even actually painting something, or maybe you make videos, something very creative. And it's like, it's working on their pentacles together. So something to do probably with your passion, whatever you're passionate about and it's very creative and it has to do with your shadow side or because you've done the shadow work or something. And then we have the queen of wands. You turned into this queen of wands and this queen of wands has dealt with her shadow side with the cat there, but this one has tamed that beast. They tamed the dragon within themselves because that dragon's no longer shooting out fire. That dragon is now shooting out smoke as if the fire has been put out. Not to say that your fire has been put out, but She's the queen of wands. She, she, and this is about your passion. Your, and there's creativity with the queen of wands and she's using her wand. She's using her magic. She's manifesting. So this is something you're manifesting. 
And then we had the Wheel of Fortune. That's why I was like, oh yes, oh yes, look at that. So let's look at that picture. Now this cat is, is a cat, well, it's black and white. So it's, it's you know, your shadow side and your side you show to the world or whatever, I guess. But it's, um, there's a wheel here. I see like a house. I see a pot of gold. I see the symbol that kind of represents the Kundalini rising. I see a star. I see sun. I see a diamond. I see a book. I see a heart. The, I don't know if she's starting to spin the wheel or if she's landed on the house, but the little ticker is on the house. She's a witch. So she's magical. She's, this is 10 wheel of fortune. So it's the end of one cycle into a new cycle. So you're coming to the end of one cycle when it comes to this creative endeavor and you're going into a new cycle and she's spinning the wheel. She's like, what are you going to get for all your hard work? Are you going to get the heart? Are you going to get the house? Are you going to get the pot of gold? Are you going to get the Kundalini rising, that more magical powers, the star, which would be, I don't know, the universe, the sun, warmth, happiness, clarity, the diamond or the book knowledge. What are you going to get? You're going to get some kind of reward for this hard work, for this creative project that you're doing. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So this is somebody or could be the universe bringing you an offer. And I see lots of hearts, lots of hearts. The funny thing is there's a shark in the water beneath him, but he's flying over it without a damn care in the world. He knows that his magic is not going to make him fall. And even this cat's kind of, this little calico cat's kind of hanging on there, but he's just wanting to play with the bubbles. So this is this knight coming in. He's barefoot. I don't know what's up with that imagery. Um, he's got lots of fish. So, I mean, he could be a Pisces. He could, there's lots of water, lots of emotions. But like I said, the shark, maybe the shark is his sh sat, bleh, shadow side. Maybe his shadow side has to do with he wants to come in and give you this offer, but he doesn't know how to talk. And that's why my words got jumbled there. But he wants to come in with this cup of love. Um, the fish could be meaning that, you know, this is lucky, but that's with that wheel of fortune. So that's two cards that talk about like a lucky cycle you're going into and you're going to get rewarded. So what's it going to be? Maybe it's going to be this love. But I did feel like it had something to do with you being creative and, and bossing up, becoming that bitch and finding your soul's purpose and doing it. And then we have the world. You're going to feel on top of the world. Congratulations. Plus, she's on a beach, so you might be taking a trip to a beach somewhere. She's got her bare feet in the water. She's got her cat there, so she, her cat's just hanging out. She's dealt with her shadow side. Her, her hat, I didn't see this before, her hat is kind of flying off in the wind. I don't know what that's saying to me. Let me think about that. So this is 21, which breaks down to three. So she's got one foot on the sand and one foot in the water. So she's dealing, you know, she's, she's balanced between her emotions and, and grounded practical stuff or between her spirituality and her practical stuff. What would your, your hat would represent? Like you need a hat Usually that witch's hat is to focus your, your intent, your power up into like the divine, like the, you know, the, the point goes towards the divine, the pinnacle, but the hat's flowing off, but she doesn't seem like she's upset about it. She's kind of reaching up to grab it, but she doesn't seem like she's too upset. So maybe the spirit's saying you don't even need the hat. You're going to be on top of the world. You don't even need the hat anymore. You've, you're, you've manifested what you need to manifest. And you're that powerful of a manifester. You don't even need the tools. You don't need the hat. You're the, wit you're the witch. You're the magical person with or without that hat. But I see this nice picnic. She has it all. She has meat. She has vegetables. She has bread. She has a nice fancy fruity drink. And she's sitting on the beach. And it is a windy day. But she's loving it. She's enjoying herself. So you're going to feel on top of the world with whatever this is coming in. 
and Ace of Cups. It's There's so much water in that cup that it's starting to drip out. It's starting to overflow. Um, the Ace is something that's facilitated by the Divine. I also noticed that in this particular image, there are some plants that this cup, the water that's flowing out is basically feeding the plants and the plants are growing. So the love is feeding the plants. The love that's flowing out from her cup is feeding this new beginning. And the cat's even drinking from the water. I don't know what that means, but she's got something cooking in her little cauldron here. So she's kind of doing a spell. She's got magic around her hat. This time she has her hat. Maybe she got her hat back. <laughs> There's two birds in the sky, almost like two lovebirds in the sky. And there's lots of greenery. And she's very grounded. And she's so happy. And she's just holding this cup and it's just overflowing with love. So you're going to have, whatever this is, is going to bring you so much love and happiness. This is an outstanding reading. I fucking love it. And... I mean, I'm so happy for you that whatever's coming in, I don't know timing on this. I'm going to go ahead and stop the reading here because, I mean, this is telling us all we kind of need to know here. But I'm also going to go into a bonus reading, an extended reading, where we're going to say what's going to happen with this situation for the next six months to a year or sooner. So we're going to get more information. Like, what is this about? Like, find out more. Is this having to do with the twin flame? Is it more focused on the sole purpose, the career? I think it's kind of both at this point, but we're going to get more and we're going to find out what's going to happen in the next six months to a year or sooner. So we get timing. We're going to really dig into it, pull some charms, get some advice cards and just get some juicy details. I got to tell you, these extendeds is when they get really get good. It's when the synchronicities really start popping out. And that's what makes me super excited. We really get a lot more information. I think they're worth it. So if you want to watch the extended, go down to the description box below and find the, the link that says, you know, click here for, to watch the extended. It'll take you over to my Patreon. It'll say on there that it's $5.55 for a month. But just so you know, you can cancel at any time. Um, you can watch the one reading, you know, and just have the one pay period and then cancel. I think at the first of the month, it's, it, you know, that's when it would start over to the new month. So you would have, you'd pay for between whatever it is now to the next first of the month. And then if you stay monthly, I super appreciate it. Then, you know, that supports me and that will allow you to continue to not only access all my past readings for that time, you know, all my past readings that I've done until this point, plus all the readings that I put out for that time period that you pay for. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of great information in these extendeds. I think the readings I put on YouTube have a lot of great information, but it even goes even deeper. It's exclusive to the people on Patreon. So it is exclusive content. Um, so I do think it's worth it, you know, for $5.55 for the full month of extended reading. That's awesome. I have other tiers on there. I have uh, Twin Flame weekly readings, Too Hot for TikTok, and then I have exclusive lives. And then I have some tiers where, like, instead of, paying full price for each tier individually. You can kind of group them together and save a little money. So you can check out those tiers or you can just do this tier. Um, before I go, if you could do like, comment, share, subscribe, definitely subscribe, hit the not notification bell. All that stuff helps me to center in on your energy for future readings, plus helps support me and my channel growing, which will help me support my mission of helping other people helping Twin Flames, which ultimately, what do we do? We help the whole universe. So every light worker you're supporting, uh, me and other people, you're you're doing good for humankind, just as you're probably a twin flame and will need that support as well. We're here to support each other. Life is not easy. Being a twin flame is not easy. I'm assuming this is a twin flame reading. I tend to have a lot of twin flames gravitate towards me because that's my sole purpose as a twin flame is to help other twin flames. So, um, so yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what your soul's purpose is. Have you found it yet? Do you know yet? Do you know what the situation is that's unfolding? Or is this going to be a total shock to you? Let me know. Talk to me. I will see you in the extended. Blessed be.